Now we'd like to talk about probably one of the greatest features of the K-Vest, and that's the ability to work on real-time swing plane. Now all of us know how important swing plane is in the golf swing. The great thing about having a sensor on John's golf club is now we can actually work on swing plane in real time. We've already calibrated John, so I'm going to have him go ahead and set up to the golf ball. We're going to now click on swing plane, and then we're going to utilize live settings. And what that's going to allow us to do is set a mesh where John is right now in his address position. You can see if John gets out of that mesh, it turns red, and when he gets back in it, it turns green. Now we can do the same thing for different positions throughout John's backswing. So we're going to have John go ahead and swing back, get into a position where we'd like him, depending on where you like the face or the path. We can now set a mesh there. We can have John swing back down to address, and then swing right back into that position. Once again, Swing Plane is now hands-off instruction. I let him work with the software to do exactly what he needs to feel to get the correct swing plane. Now we can have John swing back up one more time, a little bit further, and we can set another mesh. John's got three great positions now to work on to feel the swing plane or the face orientation in the golf swing. He's got a dress, halfway back, and then top. It's now that easy to work on your student's swing plane. Now, just a bonus feature we've added probably in the last couple months to the software is the ability to do a real-time tracer. We want to give you a peek at what that looks like. We're going to clear the guide, we're going to right-click on the screen, and we're going to bring up Club Tracer. Now what that's going to allow you to do is actually see the path of John's golf club. So you've got the video on the left, we've now got the club tracer on the right. So if John swings it back to the inside and then over the top, you can now see the path or the orientation of that 3D animation. John can also swing it back to the outside and then loop it in to give another rendition of that path. Becomes a very effective way to communicate swing path and fix it with your students.